Hi and welcome to my channel for another tutorial and in today's video we are going to do rhinestones using Silhouette Studio. Let's get started. As always we want to start by talking about what items you're going to need to work with rhinestones. The main thing you're going to need is Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. Basic Silhouette Studio does not have the function to convert your text or picture into a rhinestone template. Again, you need Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. That's the first thing. Other materials you're going to need are rhinestone template material. That's what it looks like. You're going to need rhinestone transfer tape. It looks like this. You're going to need a brush and you are going to need hot fix rhinestones. I got these rhinestones from the rhinestone warehouse. Uh, my other stuff was actually given to me, but you can buy it at the rhinestone warehouse and I will link their website in the description box. And the link I'm going to send you to actually has the brush, the rhinestones, the um, template material, the transfer tape, what you would need to get started. I'm going to start by showing you guys the design part of working with rhinestones. And with this image right here, I have Eagle Golf Mom. And for this particular project, I'm only going to turn the G, L, and F into rhinestones. Um, the rest of the image, you can do whatever you want. You can cut it with vinyl or you can print it with sublimation. That's up to you. What we're going to focus on is the rhinestones. So you do have a rhinestone panel here on the right. You're going to go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see an arrow that is pointing to the left. You're going to click on that arrow. It's going to give you three choices. On the far left, kind of looks like a gem, and it says open the rhinestone panel. And that's what you are going to do. And it's a little bit easier than what you think. Um, what I'm going to do is click on this F because I'm going to convert this F to rhinestones. I'm going to select 10 SS. Those are the rhinestones, in my opinion, that are easy to work, the easiest to work with. They're a little bit bigger, but not too big. So I'm going to select SS10, and then up top you have a rhinestone effect. You have none, edge, linear fill, and I don't know what it does. It, they were popping up, but it's not right now. Oh, radial fill. There it is. We're having a fun, right? I'm going to select linear fill. For your project, you can play with all three of them. I'll show you what they look like. Um, edge, it's very useful. See what it does? It turns your image into a bunch of circles. Um, linear fill looks like that, and radial fill looks like that. I think linear fill looks best for what we're going to do. Now, some things you can do with this, you can change your spacing. It's at 0 .039. I'm going to up it to, oh my gosh. Let me go back. It said 0 .125, 0 .4. Zero. It was at 039. So I just manually punched in with my keypad 040. And I think that looks a little bit better. One thing I want to show you, I will undo it, but you can release the rhinestones. You click right here, it'll release it, and it will turn it into individual pieces. And that way you can move the rhinestones around. I'll show you really quick. Release rhinestones. It's almost like a release compound path. It'll tell you, see it turns it into the individual rhinestones. And you can take this guy and you can move it out. That way you can kind of customize your image. All right, so I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to do the same thing for each letter. I'm going to go SS10, radial fill. And the spacing is already at 040 for the G, SS10 radial fill and it has turned my letters into a rhinestone template um i want to go ahead and interject um turning images into rhinestones sometimes can be easier than fonts some fonts are very tricky i'll give you guys an example i will type 
a mom and make it bigger. And I'm going to pick a cursive font because those can be tricky. Hello is the first one that popped up. See that font? And if I go to my arrow and I select rhinestone, SS10, and linear fill, and eh, that one turned out better than I thought, but not all fonts look like that. Um, and you can select others. Let me find another one. A Little Sunshine turned out good. Sometimes you have to play with it. There's one that looks okay. I'm going to play with other fonts. Typewriter looks okay. Baby Sweet is another font. But you see what it's doing? There's one that doesn't look so good. Birds of Paradise. That one doesn't look so good. So we're going to delete that. This font that I used is called All Star 4. And I found it on DeFont. And I will link that font also in the description box. So now we're going to move on to cutting. Um, I'm going to move all this out of the way. Most of this process has already been done. So now I can move these because you don't want that big gap. You know what I mean. I'm going to put these in my corner. Just ignore that. I guess, oh yeah, the F, they're still separate rhinestones. It doesn't matter. It's already, gonna, it's already been cut. So it's fine. It's fine, right? Uh, so I'm going to send... I'm going to make sure my cameo, see mine was set to print, so I'm going to set it to cut, cutting mat, 12 by 24. Now I have a cutting mat. Now what you're going to do, my page is set up, you're going to go to send, you're going to click send, and over here in your settings, there is actually a setting for rhinestone template material. So I'm going to select that in my settings rhinestone template material and the force uh, the blade depth is at six the force is at 33 the speed is at five and it's doing two passes i'm going to select cut anyway this has already been cut i'm going to go back i'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys the template and we're going to place the rhinestones in the template and put it on the shirt so for this particular project, I went ahead and did the rest of my image in sublimation. And I mean, I've left spaces. There's the G, the L, F. The spaces are left for the rhinestones. What you need to remember while I'm showing you guys this is you need to press all of your vinyl and all of your sublimation before you do the rhinestones. The rhinestones have to be pressed last. What I'm going to do is take a quick break put this on my shirt and then I'm going to show you guys how to work with the rhinestones. I have cut our rhinestone template material. This is what it looks like. It's just a bunch of holes, you know, not that exciting. Okay. I cut them apart because of the design, because it was split. I had the G on one side of the image and the LF on the other. If you were work, if you were just typing the word golf, you wouldn't cut them apart. So it's just specific to this design. So what I have done is I have cut a piece of the transfer tape. It comes with this backing that is just fantastic. This is how I store my templates. Um, these templates are reusable. Big bonus, right? So someone out sees your golf shirt and they want one. You're like, I got you, boo, because you already have the template. You just brush in those rhinestones, and you're good to go. So what I did was I removed the transfer tape from the backing. I'm going to put my template on this. Oh, what a mess. I'm going to put my template on this backing just like this. These are separate. I will do these separately. And now I'm going to show you how we brush in the rhinestones. Here we go. I have my rhinestones. I have my brush. I have tweezers right here. So I can place any that, you know, get out of whack. 
<laughs> right? Or are turned upside down or don't actually fill in the holes. You're going to spread out an amount of rhinestones. Doesn't really matter how much. You're going to take this little brush and then you're just going to spread them around to fill in those holes. It's nice to have this little space on the side because that's where you can, you know, place the extras. Kind of wiggle it around, get in as many as you can. They don't all go in, I'm going to tell you right now. You are going to have to play with the tweezers, but it's worth it in the end. All right, so there we go. I'm going to fill in the missing holes off camera, and then we'll be right back. Now that I have all the letters placed, the next thing to do would be to brush away all the extra rhinestones very carefully and film at the same time. Makes it extra fun, right? I'm going to brush them away. I'm not being extra careful. I'll leave them on the desk for now because I can get them later. Now that I have all the rhinestones in place, I'm going to take my transfer film, transfer tape, and I'm going to place it on top. I normally take the brush and see, we got to, oh, that was just a stray. Take the brush and brush them all in really good. The next step is to pick up the transfer tape very, very, very carefully. Go kind of slow. And then look at that. All your rhinestones are going to stick. Oh, there it goes. Well, I say all, but you might miss a few. If you do, that's why the tweezers are handy. And you're going to pull. This is what it looks like. There, that's easier to see. How awesome is that? There's your letters, your rhinestones on the transfer tape. Now all I have to do is take this and transfer it onto the shirt. Press it like you would HTV, so about 15 seconds. Then I'm going to uh, go ahead and do the whole process with the G, and then I'll show you guys the big reveal. It is time for the big reveal. The rhinestones have been placed, the transfer tape has been removed, and this is what we... Wow! That looks really fun! I love it! Love, love, love. Um, a couple of things to remember when it comes off of the press, you're going to have to take your shirt and pull it, a, pull it apart, you know, that rhinestone glue, a little bit gets onto the back of the shirt. You just have to separate it. It sticks just a little bit. It's nothing to worry about. Pull it just a little bit. It'll come apart. Um, one of the downsides of mixing sublimation with rhinestones is that my sublimation ink transferred. I don't know. Yeah, you can see that. The golf ball, it transferred a little bit onto this transfer tape. So I will not reuse this specific piece. If you're working with vinyl, you're not going to have a problem. So if you're working with vinyl, you can reuse this template and the transfer tape. So with this being a mix of sublimation, I will just cut off another piece of transfer tape and, you know, and what I would do is take this, it will cover it, and I have a drawer where I store all of my templates in case I ever need to reuse them. So in review, um, step one is to make sure you have all the right materials. Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, your template material, transfer material, uh, rhinestone brush, hot fix rhinestones, a tweezer. I didn't mention that earlier, but I ended up using it anyway. Step two, design your rhinestone image, whether it be some kind of picture or words or a font. Whatever you design, step three, cut it out in your rhinestone template material. Weed out all the, you know, circles. Step four, brush in your rhinestones into the template. Step five, cover those rhinestones with the special transfer tape. Peel that away. Step six, transfer those rhinestones to your shirt. 
press for 15 seconds and you are done and you will have a super cute blinged out shirt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment box. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!